Hello everybody and welcome back, yes, back to another video. My name is Tori July, you can call me Tori, you can call me July, you can call me whatever you want. It's okay. We are all family here. Today, we have a different kind of video. Usually I do videos for Switch emulation, uh, how to mod your games, stuff like that. Very, very, very uh, new gen stuff. But today, we're going to go back a little bit more and we're going to go into the game Kingdom Hearts. 358 over two days this game is very nice it's very fun the lore about the game it's very cool we get to play one of my favorite characters which is also other people's favorite characters which is roxas right anyways today if you look behind me we have the page how you can play this game you move myself over here to the right side oops and here we go. We're going to be using the emulator called the Melon. But we're going to be using a special emulator from Melon, which is KH Melon Mix, which was created by Victor. This guy has been trying to recreate, or not recreate, emulate Kingdom Hearts 350 over two days a game as if it was a remastered version. And let me tell you, it's mwah, beautiful. It's it's still a DS game, so you're, it's still gonna look pixelated. But it essentially plays like a Kingdom Hearts 2 game. The combat, the camera movement, everything will end up feeling like a KH2 game, which is more than Square Enix and Disney has given us over the years. Anyways, what you wanna do is go down in the description into the, into the yeah, to the description and, and click on the link for the KH Melon Mix uh, emulator. You want to go down here and just download the version you need. For me, it was Windows. Once you download that, go over to your downloads. I have my download page here. And you want to open up your download. This page is going to open up. After you uh, open up your Melon Mix zip file or rap raw file it's a zip file uh you want to extract everything in it into your desired folder like always i already picked my a drive if you look down at melon mix what you want to do is create a folder name it whatever you want i named it melon mix and that's it i extracted everything there is to extract there second things second if you want your cutscenes to be high risk you need to, to click here if you want to open a new tab open a new tab go into this mega file and what I actually did to speed up the process was I went in here to three dots and clicked download as a zip file. Once it downloaded as a zip file, what you want to do with that is open your assets, go to your emulator folder. Let me open up the emulator folder. Go to your emulator folder, mine is Melon Mix, and automatically this folder with your emulator should have an assets folder. What you want to do is Take this assets folder and drop it in here. It's going to replace all your files. It's going to extract it. If you don't have an assets folder, it's okay. Just dra drag and drop in there, okay? After that, you're going to have to provide yourself with Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days NDS file, which is the ROM file. It's the game itself. Once you, down, once you dump that game into your ROMs folder, or you just put it in there, extract it in there, you're going to rename that game into days.nes. That's D-A-Y-S dot N-E-S, okay? NDS, sorry. Uh, the NDS is just a type of file. You can leave it as it is, but make sure it, instead of saying the full name, just rename it to D-A-Y-S, days, okay? Once you've done that, that's all the setup you need. Right, it, the, the assets uh, folder, it's around three gigs, almost four. It's gonna take you a little while to download. It's, remember it's high resolution scene, cutscenes. It's gonna take a while. Now, if you are still unsure on how to do this, the GitHub page has, has the, the how to on how to install this, okay? So everything I just told you, where are the four the first four steps <laughs> just summarized okay when you launch melon mix for the first time you gotta launch it through the exe file first the executable so you're gonna launch it through here 
Now, this is the emulator, okay? This is melon. It's obvious because the DS looks like a melon, right? You want to go into, into files, open the ROM, and go for days, okay? No, config, okay? Go to config, and then go to input and hotkeys. It's already recognized the type of controller I have. And you're going to map your L button to your left bumper, is it? Or And the right bumper over here. Oops. There you go. Uh, up on the axis, on the D-pad, you're going to pick your, your stick, not your D-pad. Your D-pad is going to be used for something else. So you're going to map up, up, left, right, down on your stick. Select button on whatever button you desire, start on whatever button you desire, and then map X button according to, you know, however you want it. Just make sure you remember what button it is what. Visually, on my Xbox controller, X is Y, and where Y is X, you just map your buttons. Okay, how, how you're supposed to. There you go. Let's do B. Let's do A. All right. That's... That's it on the bottom mapping. Wrong. Now we're going to go to the touch screen right here. Last tab. And you're going to go to the joystick mappings. And you're going to map all of these to your left stick. So touch left. You're going to you're going to swing your, your, your joystick to left. So it's left. Right. Up. And down. That's basically it. Now, for add-ons, we're not done yet. We're going to go to add-ons, okay? Your L2, your L2 uh, buttons are going to, it's going to go to your left trigger, which is the back button on your Xbox controller. So you're going to go L2, and then R2 is going to be right trigger. Nice. If you have a PlayStation or DualSense controller, you can do, you can use that as well. And then command menus, you're going to map your D-pad, okay? So left, right, up, down. And that's it. And the HUD toggle, I put it here on the left stick when you click your left stick in, uh, inwards. And that's basically it. That's all the add-ons I wanted to show you guys, okay? After you're done with that, you can close the emulator, okay? Trust me, just close the emulator. It's fine. Go over here, and instead of opening the game through Melon Mix, if you're playing uh, Kingdom Hearts Days, you're going to use the bat file, Melon Mix Kingdom Hearts Days, okay? going to... Do that, and it's going to open the game, and you're going to be saying, July, I don't see any differences whatsoever with the game. We're going to get out of the screen so you guys can enjoy it. Mindlessly collecting hearts. The rage of the Keyblade releases those hearts. They gather in darkness, masterless and free. Until they weave together to make kingdom hearts. And when that time comes, we can truly, finally exist. Roxas, are you really sure that you don't have a heart? I don't know. I can't just look inside. But I figure... If there is something in there, inside us, then we'd feel it, wouldn't we? <laughs> True enough. All right, so you got a sense of how it looks like. I'm going to be skipping the cutscenes, okay? Because I want to show you the actual gameplay, okay? I'm not going to go through missions and stuff, but I do want to show you the actual gameplay on this game. And look at the game. Now, I am using the left stick to move the camera around. But with my D-pad, I cannot control Roxas. I'm controlling it with my, with my stick, which is fine. 
So like I said, the game does still look like a like like a DS game, but it's just been upscaled and with better resolution. But it still has that pixelated feeling of like a Game Boy Advance or, or a DS game, and there's nothing we can do about it because that's just how the game looks, unless it's remade from the ground up on like Unreal Engine or something like that. Can jump. That. We can attack. And a cool little thing that you know, that you can notice, is that we have a mini map on the upper right corner, just like Kingdom Hearts uh, 1 and 2. Okay? And I absolutely love the way that um, the gameplay feels good. Now we don't have to use the triggers to move the camera around. Which is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic way. Uh, we don't have the ability for, for magic yet. So that's why we can't change the commands and stuff. If you guys are interested in Let's Plays, do let me know. Because I love doing Let's Plays, but... That leaves that gives me no views. <laughs> and even though I love doing videos, I do I do I do like giving people what they want and apparently these type of games is what people want, so that's what I'm doing, baby. That's what you guys want. Sorry. It's gotta show up. There you go. Now it shut up. Now we do it. See? Let me see. There you go. Uh we go over here. And that's that. I had to show you guys the combat because there was no combat in this mission. But the combat is what you, it's what you can expect out of a Kingdom Hearts game. Why don't we just skip ahead to where like there's actual combat? So give me a quick second, okay? All right, guys. So we're back. This is combat. So we can attack the Heartless. There's automatic uh, lock on, so. That's that. The game is talking about the dropping prices. Ow. 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 Hey, yo. Bonus. So we're done. The game feels absolutely amazing. Uh, I gotta give props to the team that was behind this. Like... You guys have no idea how much I've been wanting this. It's so good. <laughs> I found about this two days ago. Two days ago. So this is fresh. Uh, how, how come I never knew about this? And I'm pretty sure there's still people out there that still don't know. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure this is still like KH, KH1 where jumping is better. So jumping attacks are faster. I don't know if it's still the same thing, like the same tech, but in, K, in KH1, uh, in KH1, the jump attacks were faster. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, guys, I think that's it for this video. I don't know what you guys think. I love Kingdom Hearts. It's one of my favorite series out there. If you guys are interested in a Let's Play of this game or something like that, I'll, I am more than happy to do so. So please drop a like in this video and let me know what you think about this. Let me know your opinions about this game not getting a, like a proper HD remaster. I'm not even talking about a remake. Just a remaster, bro. Like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. This has been Tour of July. Subscribe if you think I earned this video. I earned it in this video. And stay tuned for the next video, man. I'm, I'm just happy I get to play this game. <laughs> like it should, should have been made. All right. Love you guys. Take care. <laughs>